How's it going? Pretty good, Ate. How you doing? I am tired. Ate is tired. Yeah, but I'm, tired, I'm, I'm all right. All right. I got to remember to talk into the mic. I feel like I forget yeah, that all the time. You, but you hey, do. it's okay. I'm, it's, I'm here it's fine. and I'm speaking. Welcome to yeah. the CMG podcast. Woo. We talk everything gaming related and some things not gaming related. But uh, yeah, we're on podcast number 60 now. Is it 60? Yeah, we're on 60. Seis ocho. No, seis. Seis zero. All right. I'm trying, okay? I'm this, not Zoner. I'm doing my best. Can't we, do this. Nobody can do what Zoner can do. And we're missing someone else as well. Yeah, Matthew is not with us. Because <sighs> apparently, Rest in peace. Legoland oh, is yeah, more Legoland. important than we are. I uh, get it. I mean, Legoland's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, he's taking his family down there. And so, whatever. That's, good luck and have fun. That's on him. Yeah. That's all on him. Man. Man. So, if you want to follow us on social media, we have cmg underscore gamecast for twitter and casual misfits, mis- misfits gaming for everything else everything else oh didn't right. matt say we're on spotify now yeah we're on spotify we are on spotify yeah i got us on there dude i wish i had some like party little poppers pa, pa, spotify pa. yeah buy some we need some we need like a pack of those always go to party city and buy like a whole bunch no we don't need any more mess in here but it'd be fun it, it would yeah, for the right? first two times put a sparkler now. on batman Just like, i do have sparklers on you? Not on, no. Oh, God. I was all excited. I'm like, why are we doing this right now? All right. So, Man. how was your week? Pretty good. I mean, busy. I spent most of it in Lancaster, so I hung out with Matt, because that's where Matt lives now, um, if, in case anybody wants to know that. Lancaster is in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's right next to Palmdale. So Which is also in the middle of no- nowhere. Yeah. yeah. So, if you like that rap song from the late 90s, you know, Palmdale, yeah, that's, that's where it is. Um, it's a fun place. Not really. I... Had a good time, kind of, but I was only there till Wednesday, so that was okay. And then I came back, a uh, six and a half hour drive home, so that was <sighs> fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just, you know, reflecting on it. Went yeah. to work, played some Smite, played some Town of Salem, and now I'm back. Here oh, I am. yeah, Town of Salem. Dude, it's on mobile now. Uh, it's a free mobile game now. You can download it on your phone. Using the same account and everything? Yep. Oh. It's freaking awesome. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so if you haven't played Town of Salem, get it on iOS and Android today. And we did do that for a game night, or it's a mod Monday? It was one of those. I'm not sure, though. It was a lot of fun. I think it was a game night. I think I died first every single round. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, there was no reason for it. I just died a lot, and I was kind of upset. But it I was actually okay. survived one, didn't I? The last one we I did? I think you did. Yeah. And I just sat there and watched the screen because I was dead. So I'm like, it's fun. Yeah. I'm going to play Pokemon Go. Have a good time, guys. And uh, let's see. My week was... It was busy as always. Um, what games have I been playing? I played some Sea of Thieves with... Okay. Uh, let's see. Was it this week? Was it Xlorian that played with you? I don't know if it was this week or last week, but I did play with him. I think it was then this I, week. Then I played with uh, Joseph, Jamie, and Kyle for our um, Sea of Thieves S day. Because we don't know if it's going to be either Saturday or Sunday. What? S day. So S day? Yeah. So, so it's, it's one it of those. One it's, of those it's, days. It's the S day. Yeah. Because um, there's no other S days in the week. I like it. Yeah. We so met. Uh, it, it was kind of funny. We were going around and we saw this sloop. And we went to the. So remind the viewers, how big is a sloop? Uh, it's a two-man crew. Very tiny. Okay. Very um, tiny tiny ship. Or people just run it by themselves because it is very manageable by yourself. So when Michael first started and he was running and stuff, he was probably in a sloop. Yeah, okay. I mean, you could jump in with other people on galleons and brigantines, but um, he was by himself. And uh, CMG Explorian is in the in the chat. Oh, being, nice! Being awesome. What's he saying? Uh, he says, "How's chat?" Crickets. Crickets. Oh, nice! Thanks, yeah. Explorian. Thanks a lot. Crickets. Didn't know it was Jude's very birthday. Helpful. What? Oh, because of Matt. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> and Mooney Girls in the chat as well. Hello. Oh. How are you? Um, but yeah, so we were playing um, Sea of Thieves, and we got to this outpost, and we started hearing this music. No, it oh. was uh, one guy just blasting sea shanties, <gasps> like so he, he was just playing. Music. So he has this proximity chat on and just yeah. blasting sea shanties. So we started oh dancing with him, and he actually uh, he left his ship behind and jumped on, onto our ship, just playing music the whole time while we were doing our missions and all that. So, I mean, he w- he wasn't doing anything. Uh, I love doing that in any game that allows yeah. it. Yeah, but he was he was cool. Um, and then after we got off, 
I let the ship go to like random people, but he stayed on board. And, the, like, and he was hiding up in the in the sails, oh just playing music the whole time. I wonder if like, anybody else saw him. They're like, "What is that?" There's eventually, a guy in the sails. eventually they, they saw him and they thought he was an enemy. Like, no, 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 no. He's cool. He's in an alliance. He just plays music. Yeah. He just plays music. Um, let's see what else have I played. I played uh, Laser League with Chris again, which we're also going to talk about soon. That was that was fun. Um, I played. Well, last night I was up to like twelve or one in the morning. Jeez, just man. rolling characters for Dungeons and Dragons. Just rolling. Well, yeah, we were, we, were, we were making our characters because we did it incorrectly the first time, and we're doing was it uh, version three point five? How many? Is, okay, I can't handle that because there's so many versions, and every version comes with a giant ass book. Well, it's you know as you as the different years came about, they would just basically just up the the version new rules so the one we're using is like from like 2004 or something oh my like god that. it's old so like the newest version is like uh ver- version five which really i wouldn't say it dumbs it down but it makes it a lot easier for people to just pick up whereas 3.5 is like you gotta really it's, spend the time rolling those characters yeah so we started like at seven and didn't finish until like one in the morning Jesus. so that's why i'm was thing. it online or was it uh we, we did it via like skype but it was google hangouts and just did it okay. that way. Okay, that, that works. That works. Yeah. But, yeah, that was Sea of Thieves. Pretty much the whole... How far did you get in your in your Dungeons & Dragons story? Did you just start it and then had to go? We basically just started it. And, oh, uh, God. And, yeah, it was basically just... Oh, my God. It's like four hours character, of rolling Character characters. creation, essentially. Um, but, yeah. But now you're ready. Now I have to make the backstory... And it's, it's, See, that's it's easy though. You don't got to roll for that. No, just, I just got to make up. You just got to have a fun backstory, and then find a way of how our whole group got together and then the party. Like somehow we m- met each other. And oh just, yeah, yeah. So it's it's gonna be a, a whole thing. Okay. Okay. And I'm new to it, so I was so like, so where did you meet your group, or where do you we, guys? We you don't even have a place yet. No, we have a place to go, but we don't know how we got together. Yeah, you really got to think about that then. Yeah. And we are, we're all different. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, CMG Explorian. D&D, and he was never invited. It's, if it's an internal affair. Yeah, I, no, I, I was I'm invited. Never in, I'm never invited either. Yeah. I don't play D&D that much, but I'd, li- I'd like, you know, just be thought of. Well, maybe next time. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah. So might as well get into the fun this week in gaming news. Bam. So what do you guys do? On what was it? Mod oh, that's Monday, right. right. Mod Monday. Um, we did a uh, laser league. That Bam! was that was fun. It's essentially like a Tron. I thought we did laser league on. Just say Mod Monday. Just go for it. Oh so wait, no, Tron. it was a DLC for Spider Man. That's right. That's fine. Yeah. Then okay, just what continue. Was Mod Monday, then? My God. Spider Man. Okay, so both were Spider Man. Okay, but we did play Laser League last week. Right? All right, so Laser but League was played at some point. Yes, it was. Right. It was fun. Explain Laser League to me, please. It's like uh, Tron with up to three players on each side, and you're not driving around and making the. So you're just running really fast, and the lasers behind you. Well, you're running and you're going to different points that extend laser walls. Oh. In different different oh. uh, directions, and some shoot. You know, laser walls shoot at you? Yeah. So you got to, like, dodge them. Now, once you hit that point, it turns into your team's color. So you can pass through it, but the enemy cannot. This is intense. Yeah, and there's different classes. Like, the thief, he can steal the points from the enemy team. There's Wait, there's classes, too? Yeah, different uh, different things. So it's it's pretty fun. It's, it's um, Right now, it's free for PS4, right? Is it? How much... Until Tuesday. How much does it go normally? Like oh, 10 I bucks? don't know. Some like probably something five, like that. Ten bucks, something it's it's simple. like a Rocket League oh, so uh, era. Or just that's okay. Fifteen bucks isn't yeah. that either. Yeah. yeah. And then for game night, and uh, Spider Man. So did you get to watch this being played? I didn't want to spoil it for myself. Uh, see, I didn't so, even finish the first game yet. So well, you should. Someone told me though that this was a solid six point five out of ten. This this DLC. <sighs> It's a lot of contention with really? the, the DLC. Some people love it. Some people don't. Um, some people are a little upset 
about I the also price. heard you could beat it in like three to six hours. Yeah, if you just plow through it. Okay. But, uh, I mean, if you're playing the game while doing the DLC, I'm sure you can extend that a bit. But if you're just doing the story and that's it, yeah, you can get it done in like three, three to four hours. If you're really good, like Chris. He yeah. beat it really quickly. Oh, I'm sure he did. He he played the whole game in like three days, and that was with taking breaks. So, yeah. I mean, I've had the game for like three months, and I'm still like, doop a doop a doop. No, I, you should be able to finish it pretty I'm pretty quickly. close. I'm almost yeah. there. I think I'm at towards like the last like storyline scene. Okay, so you're you're almost to the really. Okay, I'll, I'll be quiet. Um, I got to they, a point where there's one guy who's recruiting other guys. Okay, to so, stop you from from, uh, okay, from being you being, know being Spider Man. Okay, so I know where you are. Okay. Yeah. No. All right, so. And they, oh, they added, uh, uh, so the whole Puddlegate thing with Spider-Man, people were really upset about it. We have a, should we just jump into that? Yes, it's the there? same. Let's just jump into it. It's, it's the same thing. Puddlegate. So what's Puddlegate? So during uh, the E3 video uh, release, it was like they saw all these puddles on the ground. and then Pretty sh- puddles. Yeah. Like, ooh, look at the puddles. And then like a. A later video, they weren't there or reduced. Yep. And uh, a lot of people got upset because, look, see, they're they're um, they're dumbing d- or they're reducing the graphical quality of the of the game because they took out the puddles and this big whole uproar. And people and devs were like, no, we just reduced them because we wanted to. Yeah. It's, it's still a really pretty game. Yeah, but the puddles though. Yeah. So the puddles though. With the newest update. And the DLC. It's not part of the DLC, but it's with part of the same release time. Okay. Um, they added in photo mode a bunch of stickers of puddles. And that's what you're seeing right there. Wait, really? Yeah, those are... No, act- that's what that is? Yeah, so the, so the devs are like a big, you know, F you to those guys. That's like, awesome. So they, now in, in photo mode, uh, you can put as many puddles as, as you want. I'm not even mad. I'm just impressed. Yeah. So that's awesome. When I, when I heard about them like this. That's pretty just funny. Many, just just <laughs> lying the whole bottom with puddles. Like yeah. just, they're like, hey, it's not that our game can't handle the puddles. We just didn't want them. And to prove that, here's a shit ton of puddles. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. So that was kind of funny. Little. I like side. that. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so, awesome. If you missed the pub- puddles, now you have all the puddles you want. So Spider-Man, you know, it's the great game. It's the PS4 exclusive. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've had some people talk about wanting to get a PS4 just to play that game. Totally worth it. I mean, that's what Matthew did. Matthew was waiting on his PS4 well, Pro until oh, that came okay. out, you know, and then yeah, he, he all excited. He already had a PS4. He didn't have the Pro. He didn't have, he didn't and have, that's, have the And that's Pro. a big difference. Yeah. It does look really great. But then PlayStation is doing something else that's crazy. Yeah. That they haven't done they're, ever. Yeah. They're bi- allowing you. Well, it's still in beta, but they're allowing you to change your, your name now. Yes. What they're doing is... It's like again, it's still in beta, so they're still trying to work out all the keys. Lots of beta. Yeah, uh, what they're gonna allow you to do is change your name, but still keep your name like a secondary name. So if people look you up, it'll be like, say, if I want to be like Ate Rojas' name, it'll have like parentheses. Yeah, no jeans. So it'll be like if someone that used to know your old gamer tag can still look you up. Yeah, even if you change your name. Yeah, so that's good. Um, and they said like the f- first go is free. Oh, God, and then they're going to charge you? Well, that's what Microsoft did. Oh, God. Yeah. The first one, like, yeah, Microsoft, the first uh, the, the first uh, um, uh, game change or name change was, was free. And after that, it was, uh, um, I think, 10 or 15 bucks to do it again. I could understand, like, a dollar to five dollars, but 10 to 15 bucks? Oh, so a okay. dollar for a while and then five dollars. Okay, so that's not he- that's not bad. No, it's not bad. It could be worse. People have been running into problems with this though. Okay, the, so is this problems with the Microsoft one or problems with the PlayStation? The PlayStation. One? One. Okay, okay. So, so PlayStation has some issues. Yeah. So one thing they're running into is that some of the if you change your name, your account information that's tied to certain games mm-hmm. or a lot of the games mm-hmm. gets removed. So you lose the content, the if you had like subscriptions to different things, it's it's, it's gone. <laughs> uh, so trophies, trophies, content, content, saved games, your games, your library. So the entire point of having a console right. is gone. Yeah. Now, I believe it's up. It's not up to 
PlayStation. It's more up to the dev- developers. I mean, because something about the architecture and the devs didn't put that into into account when they made the games for the PS4. Okay. It's it's. You but know, like, who holds on to your save data? PlayStation. Who holds on to what games you own? PlayStation. On the cloud, yes. Yeah. That's but what I'm to, to implement it is the devs. PlayStation doesn't. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's up to the. See, I thought PlayStation would have like an authentication server, basically. So when you play the game, once it authentic- authenticates who you are, it throws you in the game regardless. Because that's how I would have set up a console. Well, they didn't really do that. Well, that's their fault then. Yeah. That's a bad. That's a bad thing. But to implement it into the game is up to the developers, and it's. But that's such a huge. That is such a huge problem. Like, well, I mean, I get it, and maybe they've been waiting this long. To not do that because of this reason, but it's like if you're gonna even hint at it, have it figured well, they, out. They never hinted at it in the first place. Well, they, they, are, they are now. Well, now they are. That's but what yeah, I'm saying. But so if they get to this point where people are starting to like, oh, they're gonna do it, have it figured out by now. Like you know, like. Well, they just announced this what last week. I mean, it's, but it's not like they haven't been working on it for a while. Well, they haven't. That's the problem. Well, because PlayStation said we're not doing it. We can't do it. So they should, they all the been, developers, they these, all these years. Never thought about doing that. This is crazy because we love PlayStation. We never really have much bad to say about PlayStation, but this is pretty bad. Now, again, it is still in beta, so they are working on it. And the thing they want to do is fix this problem. So what happens if you change your name and then all your stuff goes away? Can you change it back to get your stuff back or you're just done? No. But again, it's... So there's people out there that have no games right now. Yes. Everything that they paid for and they're just hoping that PlayStation will fix this. Yes. Oh, my God. But again, it is beta, and that's the point of doing betas. So that way, well, right. Every time you do a beta, they say, "Here's here's all these." Um, See, Claus got it right. Oh, it's because they did it from the. Claus saying that Xbox's name changes are perfect on Xbox and Switch and Steam. Oh, weird. He's right. Well, again. They've had that going for a long time. Yeah. PlayStation never has this had that. This is almost as bad as something else we're going to talk about later that Nintendo has fallen behind on. But it's like, it's one of those things where y- you got to figure it out, man. You got to have somebody on your team that knows well, how to do this. And again, it is beta and they are trying to figure it out. And okay. like Chris um, said in the chat, or yeah, um, wait, I was thinking about something, but I just mind blanked on it. Um, so, yeah, so CMG Chlorine says, to be fair, it is all about developer architecture. And it's, it's a twofold thing. You have, the, you have Sony making this thing, and then you have developers trying to implement it. Um, I guess, but man. And I don't even need my name to change in games. I just want my name to be able to be something different on PSN. Like, that's it. And that's their service. Like, yeah, well, again, it's in beta, so hopefully they figure it out and then roll it out uh, soon I would, uh, I would hope they have it done at least by christmas this year i hope so but there's no guarantee to that like uh, i really hope that'd be the way to go yeah so i'm not exactly sure what the next thing we're so happy about. things about playstation because we want to do a lot of bad things about playstation so more happy because we did like a compliment sandwich right like puddles <laughs> can't change your name new game deal compliment, compliment sandwich. sandwich there we go that's a new one yeah really I haven't heard that before. That's a very corporate term. I'm like when you get called in for a review, they're like, let me tell you something good you've done. You're a team player. Now, you suck at finance, and that's <laughs> your job, but I like your haircut. See, it's a oh, okay. It's a compliment sandwich, so that way you don't feel so bad. Man. Well, anyway, so here's some of the games. That's why I'm not corporate. Shut up. So here's some of the games that PlayStation is putting on sale. Yes, I right? can't see from here. Yeah, God of War, which was $60, is now $40. Great game, get it. Gran Turismo Sport, which was forty dollars, now twenty dollars. Good game, get it, get it. Detroit Become Human, great game, which literally did not come out that long ago, is now forty bucks. Huge. That's a that's a that's a what like a thirty percent discount. Well, I mean, it did come out um, a little bit after God of War, and they're both dropping down to the same. But price. that's still yeah. yeah. I, I wasn't expecting a sale on Detroit Become Human until Christmas. I, I really wasn't. I was, because, I mean, it's a really good game, good but it, it has a little bit of rep- replayability, but once you play it, you pretty much don't need to play it again. You could. So, okay. 
But so, is there any difference in the storyline once you play through it once or no? Oh, yeah. Oh, because you can make choices, right? That's yeah. The whole point of it's it. like, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful Telltale style game. All right. So then we have MLB The Show 18. Uh, from what I've heard, that's a good game. Corey plays it, right? And Corey plays it. And Corey loves Joseph. those games. Yeah. Anyway, it dropped from 40 to 30, so that's cool. Uh, Uncharted Lost Legacy is now 20 bucks instead of 30. Shadow of Colossus, 20 bucks. Hidden Agenda, I can't, my, my mic's in the way. I think that says 14.99 or 4.99. That's You is now $5 instead of $10. That's You is a It's a great game. It's game. really, really fun. It was free on uh, PS Plus for, for a long time, but if you don't have it, get it and play with your friends. And I think that says Rising Star Celebration and Knowledge is Power, and both are $5. So if those are titles that you liked and you just didn't want to spend $10 on, well, now they're $5. So, woo, 50% yeah. off. But you're really just just counting pennies at that point. Yeah, we we had we had a lot of fun streaming. That's you. A that was times. a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. like it's, the the aspect that you can joke with your friends and take pictures and have memes and yeah and like draw things that are inappropriate. It was a lot of fun. It's it's fun with three players, but once you get like four or five or six. Hey, players, I think we had fun with four. I oh think no, four we was had, a good we had amount. Fun with, yeah, yeah, four is a nice. I think past that though, it gets a little crazy. I mean, unless you unless your friends and your family know everything about you, then it yeah, gets then really, it's like who knows? Yeah, then then, then it could get really uh, dicey. Or, but I feel or like playing with two or three people might make it a little less fun. Don't play with two people. Yeah, two people is just <laughs> dumb because it's like, why would you even no. do that? Like, who do you think this is? Well, I'm gonna guess you because I'm not gonna guess myself. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. So you, you really want to have uh, people to play with? Yeah, with, I would agree. Yeah, yeah. Don't play with two people. Don't play it by yourself and your dog because that's not gonna be fun either. <laughs> You could try. You might have some fun, but your dog's probably gonna win, to be honest. But yeah, don't worry about it. So, moving on. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. All right. Yeah. So we have not been on a podcast in a very, very long time. Very, life, very life long happens. time. Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, life happens. And what happened before life happened was there was a release of some uh, very, a, very a, cool. A leak. A leak. You're right. Not a, re- not a release, a leak. But there's a lot of cool things that make you feel it's going to be a release in the future. So cool. this leak was of an open world Harry Potter game. Yes. And we're not talking like, oh, how cute, you know, like, you know, uh, Wizards 101. No, this is a real game. And they had a video online. If you that go to leaked. Reddit, you can probably still find it on Reddit. But I don't know because I went I, like the, the day of. You went looking? It was gone everywhere. Dude, I found it, but somebody had taken the video and mirrored it so you could still watch it and hopefully wasn't going to get pulled down. And I tried to find the, it a couple days later. Gone. Yeah, gone. Yeah. yeah. Warner Brothers was adamant about and that's that. The, that's the thing, though. That's the part that makes it really cool is the fact that within hours, yeah. Warner Brothers had taken down every single video of it. But we did get some pictures. Some pictures. And you see them behind us, and they're very low res because the actual video that was online was taken from a cell phone looking at a screen playing the game that was it like that was literally all we've gotten but it looks really cool there's lots of different spells um you can you can choose what spells you want to use i would hope so yeah it's not like the old harry potter games you just right click and you hold it up there and it just changes the spell based on what you're looking at no it's like legit you have uh skill trees they showed skill trees in the video that was really cool so i mean obviously it's still i mean it's a leak so this is all early yeah it could could never happen but I'm the, hoping it does. Yeah, the fact that they reacted so fast makes you think that this is actually in the works. Uh, Zoner in the chat says, is someone wearing the cloak of invisibility in the center seat? Yes. High five, Matt. Good job. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the graphics on this look okay right now. I mean, obviously. It's, it's, it's very, very early. Yeah, but you can see where they're trying to go with it, you know, uh, over the shoulder style thing oh, which I, hope I, I can I, like pick up different wands or at least probably not i wands. don't think you would do that and because in the harry potter yeah, they don't lore, ever do that you're you, right but it would be the interesting. wand chooses you but you choose i wonder if it's all just skill tree progression then yeah i'm, I'm sure that i was i would hope there's different like if you want to be you know more to divination or you know you know if you want to be more of a just don't read it so yeah oh, okay sorry not right. always fun fun chat times yeah um divination yeah or Ooh. Whatever style of magic you want to do. Oh, I've never seen that in Harry Potter, but that would be wicked cool. A healing spell, like a legit healing spell. Not just one that makes you... I don't know if it would be a healing spell, but more like... uh, Like botany, you know, getting like potions and stuff. That would be cool. I like that. I like that. 
Wow. <laughs> we can't read it, but if you're yeah. if, if you're, you're reading if you're, the chat, it's, the it's chair pretty right now, good. It's, it's really uh, it's really. Um... Oh boy. It's a good chat. Yeah. It's a really good Sorry. chat. Sorry about that. And he's somebody's dying. Somebody's in the coughing audience. up a lung back there. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. But we're hoping that it comes out soon. Oh, I, I can't I, wait. I'm gonna buy it so fast. If it comes it, out, it's it's mine. If they can pull this off on like the next gen systems, Ooh. that would look really nice. Yeah. So. All right. We'll we'll see what happens. So the next thing. So we talked about PlayStation doing some odd things that other people have figured out already. Mm -hmm. Here's Nintendo's crack at odd things that other people have figured out already. We've talked about this so many times. We talked about this when it first was announced. And we left. And we laughed. And now, what is everyone else doing? They're laughing, laughing at them. Because it is ridiculous. Now, I hope that you read up on this article because I didn't because I've already read up on this. You did not. All right, so... Oh, I didn't, I didn't put this article on there, that's why. I guess Matt put this article on here. So, apparently, let me try and find it. Uh, Ate, you want to explain what's going on when I so, find the article? The way Nintendo does their um, party chat or voice chat online is you have to get one your headset, which is fine. You have to get a dongle. Yeah, you gotta, that's right. You got to hook up your Switch to the dongle and then your phone to the dongle and then use the phone. So you have to have a cell phone. Cell phone. You yes. have to have a cell phone. Not, not like a landline phone, but like a cell phone. <laughs> He's going to plug this <laughs> gonna plug this one to the wall. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Um, and then use... It's crack it's honor. A third device to use a party chat, which is really weird. Because, I mean, doesn't the Switch already have a headphone jack in it? It, it does. It so does. So you would think that you could just use a Switch... And a headphone and just talk on there. But no, you have to use a dongle and then a phone and then an app on the phone for it. <laughs> Here's Nintendo, Nintendo's president. This is what he said. Mm -hmm. We believe the easiest way for you to connect and have a peer-to-peer -peer experience with voice chat is with your mobile phone. And it's because it's always there and it's always with you. You know what else is always there and always with you when you're gaming? The console. The console. <laughs> yeah. The console is always there and always with you. Now, there is one thing I can kind of see why they're doing this. Is if you're out and about and you don't have an internet connection, so you're using your phone. That's the only reason why I think they're doing this. Because obviously your Switch doesn't have a you know, cell antenna in it. Mm -hmm. So I could see them doing that as a, like a secondary option if you're out and about. But if you're at home on, on Wi-Fi... Why should you have to use that, you know? So another thing he said, he continued to try and back himself up, and he's like, what I compete for is minute by minute. That means the time that you spend surfing the web, watching a movie, watching a telecast or a conference, that's all entertainment time that we're competing for. My competitive set is much bigger than my direct competitors in Sony and Microsoft. I compete for time. When I do that, I have to be creative and innovative in order to win that battle. So I wonder if he's trying to say by bringing your cell phone and using that as the actual like, you know, little hub for chat, it's taking battery resources away from the Switch. So the Switch doesn't have to like have that running at the same time. I don't know. I, I think it's, that's a that's a grab. Like that's really weird. I like think, that, I, think oh. I really think the only reason why they do it this way is because if you're out and about, you don't have Wi Fi, you can use your cell for you know, data connection. Yeah, but it says that Nintendo is simply competing for entertainment time. That doesn't make so any that, sense. That's so dumb. Like, that that's the reason you're going with? The reason that you left that out of your console is because it would take up battery life and therefore time on your console? I don't know. But, yeah, that's... Uh, CMG exploring in the chat saying... Basically, he's saying he doesn't want you doing anything else. Like just entertainment, like not what is talking with your friends, not entertaining. No, I think using your phone for anything else. I don't know. That's so. Now, d d is the chat in the, the chat app? You can't use in the background too, right? Like it has to be on. It has to be on. Yeah, it has to be on the phone. Well, I think you can do the background now. Initially, they were saying your phone was going to have to be on with the chat screen, but I think now you can like at but, least close the phone screen. Uh -huh. But that's still like. Dumb. That's really dumb because not every phone runs apps simultaneously in the background. So right. you can't expect to just close the app and keep it running. 
So you probably can, you know, dim the screen, but that's still. I don't know. It's it's a weird, really weird way of talking to your friends on the console. I think it's just dumb. I think they literally should have done it any other way than that. Some now, way. Otze, did you add the next thing, or do I also need to look at that too? Oh yeah, I, I added. So this. you have stuff to say on this one? Well, I'm sure you will as well. Okay, cool. So, Otze, you you lead this one in so, while I bring up the article. The VR world is somewhat competitive. Obviously, somewhat the, competitive. The, the PSVR is doing very well. Relative to the and other. I, dude, I was a Vive man for the longest time, mm. and they are screwing people. I don't know what's wrong with Vive. Like, they came out with the Vive Pro, and then they just released the bundle that includes the controllers and the stations, and it's like, it's over a grand. And Like, what are you doing? And most people, what, what do people do on, on the PC side of VR? It's just VR, VR chat. chat. That's yeah. it. VR chat. Woo! Yeah. Like, that's it. Whereas PlayStation has all these dedicated... Ded- dedicated games that are that are yeah. pumping out more and more games that get even better and better mm-hmm. um okay um but so there's psvr and there's oculus rift and then uh vive right yep uh facebook bought oculus rift for like something like i forget how many millions of dollars uh, probably a lot yeah. yeah and so they're like okay we're gonna buy this and then they came out with the Oculus Go or something like that, right? And then another version. And then they were going to make the Rift 2. But this last week, Facebook said, no, we're not going to do it. And they basically canceled uh, the o- Oculus Rift Wait, they 2. just straight up canceled yes. it? Because I'm reading the guy's statement here, right? And this is uh, Brandon Trexler. What is it? Eribe? Eribe? However you would say that. And I guess he was a... Uh, Probably, dev yeah, for, dev for the team. Yeah. And he was talking about, uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but he's saying like, oh, we, we made great leaps. Mm-hmm. Like we've done a lot of things with the Oculus. We're very happy with it. And at the end, he says, uh, I'd like to sincerely thank everyone that's been a part of this amazing journey, especially Mark for believing in this team and the future of VR and AR. As for me, this will be the first real break I've taken in over 20 years. Time to recharge, reflect, and be creative. I'm excited for the next chapter. So, they're, so they're, it sounds like they're, they're just... They're, it's like kind of like they're scrapping. Yeah. But then I'm guessing they're going to try to make a new headset. But right now it's on the back burner. And with their AI yeah. and everything that they're working on, like what do you... I don't know. I mean, obviously they weren't making too much, you know, that much money with it. That's insane. Because, so okay, so it was kind of like a, a that, money. That scares me because VR has been climbing a lot recently, and now I'm afraid that it's it's not going to be doing much. No, I think on the console side with the yeah, with yeah on the, the console PS, side, well, fine. PlayStation's the only console that has it right now. Yeah, and they're you know like I said before, they're putting all these cool games out there um, that are fun and immersive. Yeah updating you know how to, you know they have the the aim controller now so you can actually play like shooting style games and move around okay instead of doing like a point and click and move yeah you know, they, which i like that yes. it's better uh, whereas the pc side is just vr chat and you know a bunch of and there's some other games but like <sighs> so i love vr but to be honest i play vr for maybe an hour or two and then i'm playing something else because mm-hmm. it's like it's fun mm-hmm. but it's not going to it's never going to overtake my normal console experience. You know, like I'm yeah. going to always go back to the other games and well, it's, right. it's super fun. But now with Vive being as expensive as it is yeah. for an upgrade that most people say isn't worth it. Yeah. And then Oculus not coming out with a new headset that we know of yet. Yeah. yeah. yeah but looking like it's not going to happen. And yeah. then that just leaves PSVR is the only viable option for the future right now. Which I'm fine with. No, I'm okay with that too, but that's going to be really interesting to see what happens because Sony's going to have to really step up if they want their VR to keep pushing the way it is because they're going to be the only ones creating content that matters for VR now. Unless another company comes out. I mean, what if like Steam comes out with something? That would be cool. I mean, they've had their Steam VR little like... In storefront. Yeah, storefront for a while, but... Yeah, so unless... Hopefully this creates a vacuum and another company comes in and tries to make their own thing maybe for a lot cheaper maybe so oh claw's saying that facebook is focusing on mobile vr and i think that is eons away like that's like we they well not that long but like it's difficult when they barely started getting really good at 
console and PC VR. Now they're gonna like do mobile VR. Well, I mean, look at I mean Google Cardboard. That's one of the cheapest things. I, thing, I and that, know, that but that like works. I can never as it just bugs me. Like I put it on my head and I'm like, this is not as good as it should be. Right. Um, but we'll see what happens with them. Hopefully, they're just you know assessing what they need to do next, and then maybe make a new. You know, maybe a couple of years from now they um, you know start working on something new. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Well, anyway, let's break into something more fun. Okay. Because a certain game came out yesterday that a lot of certain people are saying is freaking awesome. Yeah. And it's gotten certain very high reviews. Yeah. Digital Foundry. Yeah. No, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. So what Ate found was a video that looks like originally or initially it is comparing the graphics between the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X. Which, unless you're really looking at the details, you might not notice. But if you, you know, we've been doing this for a while. You can notice some really interesting different artifacts. And, like, not really artifacts, but, like, better detail, at least on the uh, X side. Yeah. 100%. And what people are saying and what Digital Foundry found, even comparing it to, like, the PS4 and the PS4 Pro, uh, the Xbox One X looks the best. And, I I mean, granted, it makes sense. It's the most powerful console. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, like... Yeah. So if you want, until it comes out for the PC, if you want the best graphics, get the X, get it on the Xbox One X. Now, I have not played this. I played Red Dead Redemption 1 on the PS3 for all of maybe a week. Really? Yeah. So you weren't a Red Dead fan? No, I, I had friends that played it, and so I would go on there and go join their posse yeah. and play. That was kind of fun. Yeah. But by myself, I open world games like this. <sighs> it's tough, man. It's you know, with all these other games, like Spider Man was the first open oh, world game. But that, you get to play as Spider Man. That's why. Yeah. You know, like that's what gets you hooked and yeah. keeps you there. And you know, you have familiar characters with that. Whereas this, I was I never really played any of the other Red Dead games and in like, the past. Horizon Zero Dawn. You've got giant robot dinosaurs. Like that's that'll keep you hooked for a while. Yeah. Red Dead Redemption. You got to be into cowboys, man. You got to really like that Wild West kind of feel, or else it's not going to be your game. I mean, I might give it a try, um, and I don't think this is on Game Pass. I wish no, it was. Obvious. No yeah. way. It just came out. There's yeah. no way. Well, some games come out right away, but those are But first this party. is like a... Yeah. yeah, like they have Rockstar. an entire console bundle yeah. with this game. Like, Now, it admittedly, admittedly... Well, okay. It looks great. It, it does. does. It looks amazing. It's, you know, the detail they put into this game. You know, obviously, people are complaining about the huge file size. You know, it being shipped on two uh, Blu-ray discs. But, I mean, given what I'm seeing here and the quality, it makes sense. You know, back in the day, a multi-disc... Um, uh, wow. You guys... It was a joke, Claw. I know Red Dead Redemption isn't on PC. I'm hoping it comes out now with the second one. Let's yeah, move I mean, on. if they did it with uh, GTA Five. I'm sure they'll do it. Yeah, here. I'm sure they can. But So that's the thing with me, though. I, I did the same thing you did when I got my hands on the first one. Like when I had an old Xbox and I threw that sucker in there because mm. I bought it at GameStop because it was on sale because I didn't know what it was. I played for a good week or two because, honestly, it gave me like the Grand Theft Auto cowboy kind of feel. Yeah. Like I'm like running around with a gun and a horse doing whatever mm-hmm. I want. Yeah. I did a couple missions, got really tired of it because, you know, I'm just – Cowboys and Indians wasn't my thing. Well but- – that part I don't mind. I yeah. I do enjoy that kind of stuff, but this style of gameplay, like GTA or this, I, it gets too tedious for me, and I get, kind of get bored pretty quickly. Especially and it's weird because you don't think about it, but when you really would clock down how much time you spend running around, yeah, it's a crap ton of time. Like it's a good probably twenty percent of the game is you just booking it to the next person, which is if you like that, you like that. That's awesome. Good for you. But I'm still excited because it looks awesome, and I've always been one for the graphic fidelity of games, and it looks sick. Yeah. Now, I might – maybe I'll red box it. Is that still a thing, red box? I think so. Maybe I'll red box it and then uh, maybe play it. I don't, I don't have Gamefly. I used to. But uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try it. I don't have a Xbox One X, so I won't have the true 4K oh, you know, no. fidelity. It's not true 4K gaming. It's yeah. not true 4K gaming on the Xbox One X anyway, but it's it's close. It's close. All right. Oh, hello, Alasno. Uh, she's oh. in the chat. Hey. 
That's nice. I haven't seen Matt's mom for a whole week. Nice to see you again. What? Matthew's mom. Well, your mom too. Why? Okay. <laughs> I just associated it because it was Matthew's birthday. Calm down. She's. You yeah. hear your son over here? God. Oh, now, now it's now, your son. Now it's your son. <laughs> but yeah, so um, people are giving it. It's not 4K native, Claw. We can talk about this for hours. It's not 4K native. Enjoy <laughs> your super sampling. Anyway, so <laughs> Smackdown Crackdown. I don't know why I named the slide that, but I'm really excited. So you, you, you named them oddly. Phil Spencer is talking about how he played Crackdown. Okay. When are we going to play it? I don't know. Probably not yet. So <laughs> probably not yet. So <laughs> he put, I was playing a full build yesterday. Nice work by the team. More work to do, but good progress. So More work to do. They finally have a full build of the game. And Phil Spencer's like, yeah, not good enough. Well, I mean, I'm, again, I've always been a fan of giving. Get it devs, right, yeah. Get it know, right. Get, give them the time, time. Get it right. But I mean, we've been waiting for quite some time. But I mean, it's not coming out yet. Maybe next year. Maybe, maybe never. I don't know. I hope it does, but honestly, it's to the point where it really is just I'm gonna play the game to see Terry Crews. That's it. Well. Like, I don't even know if anybody's going to be excited to see Terry Crews in the game anymore because everyone expects it now. It's not even, like, they released that he was going to be in the game, what, like, two years ago? Yeah. Is it Is it three? Is it three? Okay. But still, like, that's so that's, long. That's even longer. Yeah, and it's like, like if you're going to have a release like that, do it a couple months before the game comes out. Not... I mean, I get it if it's, like, Kojima doing a game. Okay, yeah. He's yeah. Gonna, he's going to take a long time. Wait, who it. knows? Because, God. I mean, what is it? What is it? Dead, Dead Stranding, right? Death Stranding. Death Stranding? Yeah. I still don't know what that game's about. Nobody knows. I've watched so many trailers. I'm still, like, just trying to piece it together. Still don't get it. Still excited for it because I don't get it. But, yeah. Uh, Klaus says go to the, to the Expo 18 event and play it there. Great. I'm going to go ahead and play a version that's not complete yet. Yeah, I'm also not going to fly over to Mexico <laughs> to do so. <laughs> hey, we could drive. No, we can't. Why not? Do you have a passport? I could get one. I'm still not driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the last note says in the chat, Rob, I'm not being, being mean to Claw. I'm not. <laughs> he needs to get his facts straight. I love Claw. He knows that. Yeah. He knows that. So, again, it's probably going to be delayed even longer. Sorry. Crackdown uh, 3 fans. I want to play it because I love the first one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, how was Crackdown 2? Not so good. <laughs> <laughs> so trends follow. Yeah. Then this one might not be so hot. But I'm excited because it's it's three to four to five years in the making. And yeah. Oh, Zoner says uh, Fire and Ice is playing an exhibition match in Mexico at the XO oh, yeah? event. Yeah, for That's Gears sick. of War. That is sick. Hey, side note. Hmm. Uh, Phased, is he playing Gears or Fortnite? Because I know that he's on a team now, so I'm guessing Gears. Uh, Gears. I think okay. he's a coach for a Gears team. What team? I don't know. Uh, some. Don't don't be mean. Um, I'm seeing the name, but I don't remember. It's like. It's like an adjective, or something like that. I forget. But yeah, he's a. a an coach. adjective. Yeah. So the whole team is named after an adjective. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Some get out the dictionary hit the source. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, it was, cool. It was Chris Gaming? Cri Zoner says it was, oh, Crisis. Crisis Gaming. Chris Gaming. I'm like, I don't think that's an adjective. I think uh, that's a name. But, okay. Crisis Oh, gaming. I'm thinking of Orglis. That's the new uh, Echo oh. Fox team. Oh. Because they're Orglis now because Echo Fox. Uh, oh, uh, kicked pulled, them, right? They, no, they, they, they pulled out of Gears. Yeah, they don't want to do it anymore. Which, yeah. I mean, until the new Gears comes out, I'm not going to say it was a bad decision because, you know, hold your money until the next game comes out and then go in when you can have the possibility of making more money. Yeah, but, I mean, Echo Fox was like what? It was always Optic. Always top Echo, three, at least. And then Ghost. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they won a lot of games. No, I get that. So. But all the prize pools for these tournaments are basically related to how popular the Percent game is. Yeah, so, like... 
the game Gears of War 4 is a fun game, but it's been out for so long, and the main base of players is literally in Mexico right now. It's like it's very yeah, it's pretty heavy in, in yeah, Mexico. pretty heavy in Mexico. So I mean, I understand their decision. Wait till Gears 5, I would say, and then see if you want to jump back into it. I'm sure they will. Yeah. So this next thing, Ate is going to be excited about. I don't play this game. Ate plays this game. Oh yeah. And I think everybody knows what this game is. Sea of Dweebs. Just Sea of Thieves. On. Sea of Sea of Thieves. I'm sorry. I, I, that was my bad. I, I literally thought it was Sea of Dweebs for a second. No. Um. So they're still running their uh, Forgotten Shores or Forsaken Shores uh, DLC right now. Forsaken Shroud. No. Shores. So this is the one that has like all the exploding volcanoes and it's you know literal hell. That's what that's what volcanoes do. Yeah. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes sometimes, sometimes, they, sometimes you know they just sit there. Well, sometimes they just rumble. They just shake a little bit. And then they stop. You're like, oh, okay, okay, good. I don't have to run. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Imagine the, the Jurassic World movie if that's all the volcano did. They get to the island, just like rumbles a little bit. And they're like, okay. Now what? The whole movie doesn't matter. Have you seen the new one yet? No. Fallen Kingdom? You haven't seen no. it? Wow, never mind. Ate needs to get more current. <sighs> oh, yeah. Claw. We should play together. That should be fun. And Chris. Claw, Claw plays Sea of Thieves? Yeah. You got Game Pass. What does he sound like as a pirate? He doesn't really change. Because I got to think, like, he's... He, have, you, have you heard him in real He's got life? a pretty heavy accent. Yeah. And it's not like your normal English accent that I would think of, Claw. Sorry, I know it's probably normal to you, and I'm not trying to dish you. But, but it's it, just... It's, thick it sounds boonie-esque maybe no like from the boonies uh, uh claw uh from the what, outskirts of what the uk part right? of, are you from to let by the way claw i think the england and the uk is the same thing so i don't know what's going on over there so you got to explain that to me it not you claw okay <laughs> <laughs> you you explain the sea of thieves okay thing. so <laughs> they're still doing their uh forsaken shores dlc it's been it's uh the the event is going till the 31st of October. Then on the 31st of October, they are doing the Festival of the Damned, which is their their you know Halloween event. Um, when you die, you will go to Davy Jones's ship. Davy when, Jones's locker. Yeah, and in the middle of the ship, there's a flame, and it'll basically glow. In the way you die, so if you got killed by like a volcano or explosion, it'll gl glow red. If you got killed by like suffocating in the water, it will like be like blue. So you hold up your lantern to it, bring it into the real world with you, and you can start like um, um, decorating your ship with, with those different ways that you've died. Yeah. <laughs> On each lantern. Can I have like multiple red ones? Like just have my ship filled with red lanterns because it's yeah. obvious I died of volcanoes a lot. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, I'm guessing the way they're going to do it is more of an exploratory um, event, kind of like the the thrones, mm -hmm. which you don't know what I'm talking about. But there was there's these big thrones that you have to like find and jump into. Um, Klaus sitting here talking about my lack of culture when he lives in a made up fairy tale land. It's not a place <laughs> or a name. So you know what, Claw, you enjoy the UK and tell the lion witch and wardrobe that I'm never coming. <laughs> All right. Wow. Um, so there's going to be like lanterns throughout the, the world on different islands. I'm, sh I'm sure you have to light them with, with what you died from. They're adding um, face paints for like costumes. I just realized that was your mom that called me uncultured. Jeez. Oh, wow. I've never heard her do that before. She's not wrong. That was really mean. Yeah, she, she's not wrong. And Yeah, okay. I don't care too much about geography, <laughs> but my God. Or there's there's culture in IT. I know some IT culture. Not well, but not, you know not, what? Not fine, fine. Jeez, that was mean. Um, God. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, <sighs> they're adding face paint to uh, do uh, you know costumes for Halloween. But then after that, they announced. Um, Continue. Just keep going. We can't say man. that one. Um, man, I already forgot the. I had to do a long side conversation about the yeah. UK on this one. Uh, Shrouded uh, Spoils is... Guys, chat. Tell your mom. <laughs> chat. <laughs> be, 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 be okay. <laughs> Jeez. I, I'm sorry. People are going I on. respect you, Ate and Matthew's mother. I respect you. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Um, 
So the the next DLC they they hinted at, like the big major one, not the, not the build rat adventure, but the major uh, DLC. They've only hinted at a little bit of what's coming. It's so this isn't even a major DLC. This is like a, a the the Halloween is a is a minor DLC. Okay, so they have a Halloween one that yeah. just released. I'm taking it. No, it's gonna be the day of Halloween. Wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so it's gonna be right. the day of Halloween is when they do the Halloween event, but then the DLC that's coming next, the big ma- major one, is uh, the Shrouded Spoils. Uh, after the Halloween one. After. Have they uh, talked about what the Halloween one's gonna be like, or is it just a complete surprise? Well, that's what I was telling you about, the, the, the lanterns. And oh, all. oh, okay. I thought that was part of the, no, no. the shrouded one. Okay, no. no. So going into the shrouded one, um, they're adding uh, rolling fog so you can, like, cloud your your approach to They don't ship. have that yet? No. That's so cool. They, they have they have storms, like thunderstorms, where you can die from no, that. No, but, like, you, you get, like, the whole, like, you know, uh, what is that? Pirates of the Caribbean kind of thing where, yeah. like, it's all, like, what is that? It's just rolling fog in, and then somebody gets, like, a, you know takes a cannonball to the face yeah so it's gonna be fun so you can use it to uh hide yourself obviously now most people don't use the crow's nest other than for just storing barrels but now you're gonna need to use now it. you're gonna have to use that and like actually scout ahead now of course it'll go away and then it'll come back and um that's, that's so, cool. so you're seeing it right now so that's kind oh. of what the fat uh, the, the the fog lo- looks like uh, oh that looks so cool the volcanoes are for uh, from this current, but they're going to keep them. Yeah. They're, they're, they're so is stay. that how the game is progressing? Every every DLC is just kept and they keep moving. Yes. So are there still skeletons in the game? Yes. And skeleton ships and the megalodon, megalodon is still in there. Okay, this is starting to get kind of cool. It it is it's progressed a lot from when it first came out. When it first came out, it was still fun. Yeah. But now there's a lot more uh, dynamics to the game. Yeah. Yes, Claw. I, w- I will play with you. Maybe, maybe today. So so far with the new one, we've got the lanterns. We've got the fog. Yeah, and what else? that's all they've hinted at. That's so, it. And I'm guessing they might push the the map out even more in certain areas because the way the maps set up right now, you have the main map, and they kind of like put a little chunk on the on the bottom right, which okay. means there's like a spot up here that's that's covered with okay. nothing there. Okay. There's a spot down here. So I'm guessing in these two areas, they might They're add... going to be adding... Mm-hmm. Oh. So. Or at least one of those two. Maybe they're saving the other one for a different DLC, but that's yeah. so. freaking cool. It's coming out. November 10th. It said November 10th, right? Yeah. Here. For yeah, for the for the yeah. Shroud. Yeah. yeah. But oh, the yeah, Halloween... That talking again. Good. Yeah. That's pretty sick, though. I'm excited. No Jeans has a story about the Megalodon and me... Ask him, Rob. Ask him, says Chris. Hey, Ate, do you have a story about the Megalodon and Chris? I'm sure I do. Would you mind sharing it with us? I don't remember which encounter that one was. Okay, Chris, go ahead and in the chat and write down what something that might jog his memory because he obviously I can't mean, remember. You, you see the Meg all the time, so there's like, okay. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, the, they changed it because when, when he first came out, or when she first came out, uh, it was like a just a one encounter area, but now she ro- she roams the the sea. She roams. Watch out! It was my first encounter. Was it the one where she got launched? They're thinking off? about it. They're thinking about it, guys. They don't know. They don't remember what happened. Or did he shoot it and then it started attacking? That's a common thing that most people don't know. The, there's two Megs in the in the game. There's a blue one, which can be docile, just you know, swims around you all menacingly. And then there's the white, like scaled one that will attack you no matter what. Now you can trigger the blue uh, Meg if you shoot it or something. Mm-hmm. And Chris did. He just shot it. Yeah, he just shot it. You know, that's, that seems like something Chris would do. Like we play PUBG, friendship grenade. Yeah, you play. See I mean, thieves, to be fair, it was like, a megalodon. It was That's... like his first time playing, and I like right was it like I think right when I <sighs> but... told him not to shoot it, like right before he shot oh, it. Okay, so I mean, but it's a megalodon. Like yeah, it's, it's obviously it's gonna whale. be able to kill you if it wants to. Yeah, you know, each time it bites the ship, it like puts five holes in the in the ship. Yeah, so maybe and if you're on a sloop, maybe not next the best time thing. expect it to kill you. Ouch. I'll say, calm down. It wasn't a megalodon. Jeez, oh. something. Hmm. Well, so. That's coming up. That's exciting. 
But now we get to move into the best part of the show, where the nits meet the grits. The neediest of the grittiest. Yeah. This one, I... It's interesting. It's not even going to be that much of a talking concept. Yeah. I think it's just more shame on shame on him, in yeah, my so eyes. Go. Okay, I'm going to transition. Go on. Go on. Good go looking at it. You can probably tell if you anywhere in gaming news what we're about to talk about. If you're listening to it on the podcast, uh, I have a picture in the back. Is it Ubisoft? It, I call it Ubisoft, but some people call it Ubisoft. I did Ubisoft forever, and Matt hates me, and he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna." Well, and they even did a video, I think, like some years ago, about all the different people that work there pronouncing it and do they all pronounce it differently too yes oh my god that doesn't matter then yeah so i remember the first uber uber soft game i played um you're gonna think it's stupid but i just bought it because i really enjoyed the movie i bought that uh king kong game that they did oh the 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 on the 360 that was basically free um, yeah on full a, game completion yeah each chapter was like 100 uh, achievement points so yeah. that's how most people got their first thousand it was pretty cool though it was a fun it, game it, it was graphically so good for the time yeah. for the time it, was, it was very like, and good and it was like a, a one of the more like early like launch games I want yeah. to say yeah oh yeah and it, it went through the entire movie mm-hmm. so it was very well like there was different types of different creatures on the island it was actually pretty cool um, but anyway getting back to it what is the name of this dude I'm not sure how to, how to. Let's see. Uh, I don't know his name. I wish Matt was here. He knows names better than I do. Oh, uh, Ubisoft's chief creative officer, Serge Hask- Hascot, Hascot, speaks frankly about the video game industry. And he says this, you know what is missing in this industry? A soul. Video games are about gaming and gaming is not about entertainment. It's about learning. When you learn, you have fun, but when you are just enter, when we are just entertainment, we are losing something. So his thing is that because games, we're not learning, games are not enough. Learning what though? Anything like back in the day, chess was a game where you could learn actual like strategic moves in war, things like that. Like there's actual different like if you look it up, it's been played for thousands of years for that type of thing. Our games these days, I guess we don't learn enough right. from our games, so therefore the gaming industry doesn't have a soul. Man, he's dumb. Um, I don't even know what to say. Like, really? Yeah. Like, I mean, like, really? You have to learn any game. I mean, even something as dumb as Fortnite. There's tactics in there. Yeah, there's tactics. Exactly. Um, there's meta. Meta is a huge thing, and maybe smart. it doesn't always translate to real life, but. Know. A game is a really good but, escape I mean, from real life. Are like, you going to play chess and use tactics yeah. <laughs> like in real life when you're <laughs> storming a castle or something? It's like, no. what'd you do to Kyle? Don't worry, he was a pawn. We don't care about Kyle. That's what chess taught me. All right, good, good. Um, but he continues, him, okay. he continues to say, some board games and card games have higher benefits than video games because when you play the board game, you're analyzing people's faces. Do I want to cooperate? Do I want to believe in you? When you are in character, this knowledge gained while you are having fun is very beneficial for your life because it improves the way you read people's faces. Well, I mean, so does normal conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And or like Sea of Thieves is a great example of that because you can go and see somebody on the the open seas and you don't know how how to uh, approach them. Sometimes they're cool. Sometimes they're bad. So you have to like encounter them. Try to read their actions based off the ship movement. Are they turning towards you? Are they raising their sails to be in a defensive position? Do they throw their friendship flag up? You know, the alliance. Do they even talk to you? So, I mean, that is essentially what he's saying that games don't have. It's just, I, I feel like that's such a one-sided way to look at it. And there's so many games that, that do that in different ways. Like, you just... I mean, Battlefield. You have to read... How you know? Control Dude, you points. learn so much in that game. Yeah. Like they have a lot of history in that game. You, oh, you mean like? Oh, well, my! I, th- I was thinking more like you know. Well, he's he's scholarly learning, but yeah, he's but, talking about more life skills. Yeah, and interactions. I mean, every multiplayer game is an interaction. Yeah, yeah. So, and learning how to 
play them well and learning how to defeat the enemy or whatever. He's. I just don't I even don't know. Get I don't why even, he said that. Like, why would you say it lacks soul? Like, that, okay, that's like a very, like, old timey thing to say. Like, it's not teaching you life lessons, so you shouldn't play the game. And like, if you're even, like. Like, thanks, thanks, Gramps. If, How about you go play Jax and tell me what lessons you learned from that? <laughs> you know, like, geez. Um, and if you're thinking, like, if, it, if he's going to say soul, like, even including, like, campaigns. There's so many games that oh. have. Oh, soul. my God. The I mean, Last of Us, which I never finished, made me cry in the first five minutes. Yeah. It's crazy. Spider-Man has a lot of soul. I felt Spider-Man towards the end. There is, like, I was surprised I was feeling it, but yeah, I was, I was feeling some stuff. Gears of War, a game about war, makes you feel. Makes you feel. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. I don't know. He's... And like, if it wasn't for Gears, I'd I never what... know that if you held down on the boom shot, it makes it go faster. So I learned something, you know? I don't know what triggered him to say that, though. Out of nowhere, right? It's yeah, like... There had to be some sort of interview. An that... interview, or maybe he's always had this weird view of it and just never expressed it, and then he just one day just was like, F it, I hate games, you don't ever learn anything. It's like... a good thing he's not working for a game developer. Uh, I don't know, that was a really tough one. And like, I, I you know, I put little, uh, di- if you're watching the podcast on Twitch or on YouTube, there's little diagrams of different games in the background, I mean... You try to tell me that Pokemon has no soul. That one I can see have no. How dare you? How <laughs> dare you? Okay? Okay? I love my Charmander. You, you stay out of this. Pac-Man. There's, there's soul. He's literally eating souls. He's eating souls yeah. constantly. Yes. And sometimes the souls eat him. It's, yep, it's, it's, it's important. It's, it's imperative life, to the game. It's a life lesson. Gosh. Space invaders. Don't die. You don't die. You're, inva- you're, you're literally protecting your planet from space invaders. You tell me there's no soul in that? Come on. You're saving humanity. You're saving humanity. Mario. What did Mario do? Uh, he saved Princess Peach. Multiple times. Multiple times. Which is another life lesson. And he's a damn plumber. And don't go after do the that. same woman yeah. each time. Yeah, that's, that's the, it. There the, you go. The, the first time is good enough. Second time, don't do it. Yeah. It's not no one it. else was helping yeah. her. And it's, he did it. That's an important that's life important. lesson. That's important. See? Angry Birds, I... Yeah, that one, I don't know. That, that, game, <laughs> that game really doesn't have any soul. I'm no. trying my best. And then this other logo down here is a Steam logo. Now, Steam doesn't have a soul. Hey, Portal was a soul Soulless. build game. There's one person with a soul in Portal. And that's, yeah, and that's not teaching you, you know, like tactics using Portal. That's like one of the most, if you first time playing through, it's like one oh, of dude. the first games that you. That's yeah. a puzzle game till the ends of the yeah, earth. You're like, learning that's, like crazy. Yeah, you're, exactly. You're expanding your mind and like, how do how do I think in a off the you know off the wall way to make this yeah. work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Claw gets it. Mario locked up Donkey Kong in a cage, and he escaped and kidnapped the person Mario likes. See, there's soul in that. I don't know, but I don't know. Yeah, it's a tough one. <laughs> a- Alasno says uh, his statement is ridiculous. Anything yep. can be used to teach a lesson. It's just. <sighs> It's like, and if you don't like games, why don't you, create them. Yeah, yeah why, why like, sorry. For them? Like, you can try to create games that teach people things, but I guarantee you, you're not going to sell a lot. Like, <sighs> I don't know. kind of wish Matthew was here for that. Cause I, I know, he, he would have jumped in on yeah, this. Yeah, he, he, I'm sure he would have something to say, but. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's. Zoner too. I feel bad. You guys are making this putt, a less. Putt is a, is a treasure. I remember Putt Putt. Putt Putt oh, goes putt, to the moon. Putt. Oh, yeah. Old PC game. Oh, yeah. That was a good game. Yeah, it was a good game. Damn. I mean, you for Try a kid. to tell me that doesn't have soul. That brought me so many hours of happiness. You don't even know. Angles and trajectory and projections with angry birds. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you learned that. Geometry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some geometry in there. Yeah. Physics. Physics. <laughs> But I don't know. It's team Fortress. You work as a team. Yeah. Corporation. It's in the name of the game. Yeah. My God. My God. So, yeah, this guy's crazy. I'm sorry. Journey. I, that, that has plenty of soul. Man. Anything that game company makes. God, Detroit Become Human is literally about finding yeah. a soul. Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You're soft. I don't know, man. They're, I don't know. I don't know what to say. What's what's a big game that Ubisoft's made lately? So we can just critique Assassin's Creed. Wait, isn't Assassin's Creed about a guy's soul that literally, like, jumps through time? 
Well, it's through the genie. Yeah. Well, it's history, obviously, but, like... You learn a shit ton in that game, yeah. I mean, it's altered somewhat, but... Is there any other games that they're working on that are really big right now? I can't remember. I'm really bad with, with uh, developers. Uh, I'm sure the chat... I'm sure Claw will tell me right now. I'm waiting on you, Claw. You're the fuel that keeps this show going. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to touch that one. Oh, I can't read that one, I'm not going to touch that one. All right, but yeah, I mean, this guy's statement is ridiculous. I don't know why he said that. Oh, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts teaches you life lessons with Disney characters. It's it's a good game. That has soul. Yeah. And it's super bad. All right. Super bad. Yeah. Star Trek does teach you how to be a pilot. does teach you how to be a pilot. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Star Trek teaches you how to be a pilot. I like that. All right. All right. So this that was uh, he, that guy was an, an, an yeah, idiot. Yeah, an idiot. Just an idiot, an idiot, an idiot. So now we're just going to move into our favorite part of the show, and I'm sure somebody in the chat's favorite part of the show. The claw. The claw. Chat it's, lobby. It's old S. picture, I know, but still, it's, it works. It works. I like it. We still haven't gotten uh, sued for it yet, so. Yeah, but uh, this is where we turn the podcast over to the chat. If they claw, what do you want to talk about today, buddy? If you want to talk about Xbox being 4K, we're, we're just going to end the podcast. Starlink is the newest Ubisoft game. It's, it's Which Ubi. One's Star- it's Ubi. Which one's Starlink? I'm, I'm kidding, Claw. I'm kidding. Skylanders are like Amiibos, but with spaceships. Amiibos with spaceships. What do you learn in that? How to build spaceships. How to build spaceships. <laughs> <laughs> Valuable. Okay, that's pretty cool, I guess. Okay. That guy just aggravates me. Uh, if I met him in real life, I'd slap him. <laughs> yeah. Like, how dare you devalue my, my childhood? The last note says maybe he's soft in the head. To slap him? Yeah. Maybe maybe don't do that. With a foam finger. It's one of those Dodger foam <laughs> just, fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I didn't hit you. Technically, the finger on my foam finger hit you, and it was an accident. Quotation marks. What does No Jeans want added to Sea of Thieves? That's a good one. We'll oh. go right back into Sea of Thieves. Oh, another thing they Oh, my God. Announced. Okay. We're talking about what you want added. No, but I, this is something I forgot to say. Um, they're adding more ship customizations to the game. Right now, it's just uh, like liveries, like like um, paint jobs and sails of different colors. How are the paint jobs? Pretty basic? No. They're eccentric? And depending on what you unlock in the game oh, and your, your progression in certain uh, classes. Or like ones with like a giant shark on the side of the yeah. ship? Oh, that's so cool. Well, there's the bite marks of a shark that came oh. out during the Meg- Megalodon um, DLC. But they're actually adding, like, instead of being more cosmetic as far as just, just paint jobs, it's going to be like actual things you can change. Like, you can change the cannons to be Ooh. different styles of cannons. Oh, that's cool. Um, they're going to change, like, uh, crow's nests. Uh, diff- uh, other things that you can like the the captain's quarters you might be able to change different styles so it'll, it'll be even more unique of a boat for you um, but what do I want personally? I mean they already added cursed cannonballs which affect the crews and or the ship so like a poisoned cannonball? yes that's insane that's, that is one of them Is that actually? did that actually happen back in the day? did they actually poison cannonballs and chuck them out? I doubt it Well, that's the, still pretty cool um, yeah I mean it's Greek fire but that's not poison that's just fire that's so just like a, um, let's see so what else would you want added before we move on to Claw's next question can, can, I want pets I want you to have They're a little pets. dog. They're, they, they are working on pets. That's going to be cool. Um, I want them to make like a uh, – and they did kind of hint they're thinking about doing this, but I want them to bring like a six- or eight-man ship Ooh. so you can like get all your friends. Because like right now I'm running into the problem where if I'm playing with uh, Joseph and Jamie and Kyle, but I also want to play with Chris and Claw – or if you or Matthew, because we all have the game essentially. Game and, pass. Um, we c- all can't play together. And uh, another thing I wish they would allow us to do was join your friends that are in a ship with your own ship. Because the way the way it works right now is that you you join the crew ledger up to four people, and then you jump. Oh, and then you got to jump on a different ship for the other four. Right, but you don't know which server you're jumping onto. Oh, that sucks. So. 
we could all jump in at the same time, but there's a possibility we're not even in the same server. Oh, that's kind of lame. So I would, that sounds kind of like Battlefront, like the first Battlefront. Yeah. You never know. But I would. that's one thing I wish they would allow you to do is bring your friends on board. Now, I do know why they don't do this, because then you could just, like, take a whole server, server. to yourself. But that's still fun. Yeah. Or, you, you know, maybe you jump on with two other or three other ships and you just you know rampage the other ships that are on the server because that's life man you just, that would happen the thing is they already added alliances so you pretty much can do that anyways with other ships anyways so, then so why not? Yeah. yeah so claw also asked uh let's see i'll do the first one what game would you want remastered or remaked outside of socom uh knights of the old republic claw i'm standing on that till the end of my grave that's gonna happen um, it's gonna happen i can't wait Metal Gear Solid Sons of Liberty. A remake of that. Okay, that'd be cool. You know, same yeah. same thing, but just, just, you know. A graphic remake? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Claw also asks, Robert, would you want a 100% sequel, single player open world World of Warcraft game like Skyrim? If it was 100% single player, I would be too bored to play it. Yeah. Because I like World of Warcraft, to be honest. It is super fun. But if it was just me and I was just trying to power myself up, oh, I would. Yeah, one of the things I like about World of Warcraft is trying to get the right build to make your damage higher than other people, and that's like and, and, and like working that's, with other people. Yeah, too. working with other people to get the items to make yourself stronger, make mm -hmm. your guild better. Without other people, I would lose the motivation to increase my level in that game very fast. So like, I would be I would be bored. Oh. So maybe not. <clears throat> It's uh, oh uh, CMG Florian says um, he would like different swords. Oh rapiers, yeah, rapiers, daggers. Be cool. Yeah, daggers. Because right now they just basically have sabers. It's just and, a sword. And different styles, like cosmetically, uh, it's the same dimensions, but they have like maybe bone. Pirate comes out with a long sword. He's like, I got this. Yeah, I don't know if that would work. I don't daggers care. make I'd sense. Uh, rapiers make sense. Do they got the boot gun? Where your leg? Where you like got like a stub leg? You can pick it up. It's a gun. No. Oh, see, that would be that would be cool. <laughs> That'd be weird. Stuff they had those in real life. Right. That's but an actual how you, thing. How are you supposed to aim that? You lift up your leg and you shoot. How do you You don't aim crap back then, I'll tell you, it's just spray and pray. You know that. Yeah. Well You'll pull it off, you just when people when you when you when you get boarded, right, you put your hands up and everyone's like, Oh, okay and they come near you and you raise your leg and they're like, What's he doing? And then you pull the little leg trigger and you're done. That'd be that'd be interesting. Yeah, it'd be good. It'd be good, and you know it. All right, Claw, last call. And anybody else in chat, last call. <laughs> See, uh, Chris in the chat says, oh. to Robert. Nope. What <laughs> <Do> character, you... <laughs> what, so what character would you want added to Smash? And he's out of questions after this one. Okay, what character would you want added to Smash? I mean, they pretty much have everybody in there. Uh, Goku. Why? They added Street Fighter characters. I want Goku. That would be kind of cool. See? Yeah. See? See? I want Goku. R2. Wait, RDR2. What system did you get? For? What? Red Dead Redemption. Oh, Game. there it is. I was like, what? what is he? What? Got yeah. it. That made sense. What system did you get it for? I have not gotten it. I'm sure you're going to get it for PS4 Pro, right? Uh, probably. If I do get it, I'll probably rent it first. Oh, Jump Force. Exeloran jumped in chat with Jump Force. Yes, I'm going to buy Jump Force. Jump Force looked really good. And they, I had a they, video for it on here, but we didn't end up talking about it. Yeah, they are, I guess they're bringing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! into Which, Jump Force. Okay. I'm sorry, but the mechanic for that better be freaking amazing because i'm gonna be really pissed if they're just like throwing cards like gambit just like <laughs> like oh my god i watched the video up into the point where i saw like dark magician come out and i'm like i still don't understand how this is gonna work in the game maybe it's like in uh, uh like pokemon trainer and smash yeah super yeah where he calls different people for you to use I don't know what I said to Mooney Girl, but she said, even I knew that, Rob. Jeez. Oh, the Red Dead Redemption. I, I just didn't. I'm really bad <laughs> at words. I'm sorry. Or abbreviations. Abbreviations and words are the same thing. You got to write out the whole thing, or else I'm not going to understand what you're talking about. Well, I'll, I will give you it's a brand new game, so not everybody. Yeah, so calm have, down. It came out yesterday. I'm trying. Uh, you have not seen that every, everywhere yet. 
outside what of... What would your perfect Star Wars game be? Outside of KOTOR. Honestly, give me a Boba Fett storyline game, and I would lose my shit. Like, if the whole game was just Boba Fett his entire life. It was a thing, yes. But it... But then they it died. canceled. Yeah, yeah. I know, but that's not the game. You don't play it. Whatever. So... That would be the no. I haven't finished the Last of Us Claw, but that would be my favorite <laughs> thing. Right was just <laughs> you get to play as Boba Fett. What was that game called that they canceled it? Like, it was like eleven thirty. Eleven thirteen or thirteen something. Something. Well, that's not not the one I care about. Then I want a, a legit game, not like a, a crappy like GameCube game. Anyway, yeah. So I think that's. Don't what? read it. Just stop. Oh. Hey, well, that's the thing is here. Yeah. Right when we're about ready to. Hey, he made it. He did make it. He made it. He did. Good job. Good job. Claps. Good okay. job. All right. Star Wars 1313. Yeah, that's the yeah, one. Yeah, it was 1313. Yeah. I was like, 1311? Like, no, 1313? Yeah. That's the one that got canceled. That's the one I was thinking of. And if they had that type of game with Boba Fett as the main character, I'd. You, you lose it. I'd buy, I'd buy the special edition. I'd buy the figurines. <laughs> I'd buy the cheap little blaster. I'd buy it all. You, you'd be a Zoner? I'd be a Zoner for that game. I would. I'd probably shave my head and just go full Zoner <laughs> with it. You know, just ready. Ready. Well, bye, Taylor. We got to go, too. Yeah, we do. We so do. it's so like we we've been running this for a while. Okay. And I'm so tired. Thank you for joining us. Bam! Transition to the podcast. Well, it's not time yet. No, to the main, the don't, main one. Don't. He's just commenting. I wanted to keep those... Those nice Mercedes Benzes up there, but fine. No, it's fine. But uh, thank you for joining us on this yes. lovely Saturday. If you're yes. watching this later on on YouTube, it it was Saturday when we filmed it. Sorry, you're watching it later. It's probably yeah. Monday. But uh, think of it as a Saturday, and you'll yeah. have a better Monday. So follow us on Twitter at CMG underscore Gamecast, and. Everything else at like Casual Misfits Miss Gaming. We really got to switch that Twitter tag yeah. so it's just one thing because yeah. we're just. You know what we didn't do this 60 when episodes. we first went on? What? I'm No Jeans. <gasps> we no Jeans? We, I did! We got we, it in there! Woo! We, do, we, didn't we announce totally ourselves. forgot to do our intro. We just said we're. We're I'll, here. I want to just get like, We're here, little, we're ready. Uh, little name tags so put on the overlay so I, I, we don't have to really say that. Oh well. Well, anyway, so this was Ate. <laughs> yeah, I'm Otherwise known as No Jeans. No jeans. And Robert, otherwise known as Rob Dog. Rob Dog. Nineteen ninety one. Ninety one. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I love it. Yeah. All right. So thank you for watching. This was a 60th podcast. Wow. We'll see you. The big six zero. Bye guys.